I gotta say, this episode of Captain Tsubasa was fucking lit. And I also appreciate how this episode didn't skimp on character development either. Because for one, I'm just gonna get out of the way. Every scene that involved football, with the exception of a few still shots here and there for some of the smaller scenes, but for all the big sequences, they looked amazing. And then I kind of like how in this episode, it finally takes Captain Tsubasa and it finally embraces its over-the-topness. Because there was a scene, because when Tsubasa scores his first goal, it was the... It was pretty much normal Tsubasa affair, but I like how when he scored the second goal, that shit was so powerful, it ripped the net, and I like that kind of shit. Because for one, it just looked super cool and badass, and two, it looked super visually appealing. So I gotta keep the props for the anime for doing that. Because for one, it, it makes more expressive freedoms when it comes to these kind of sequences so that's a plus and it also makes the show a bit more memorable too in its own way now aside from that i also like how in this episode it finally got rid of its own kind of its own kind of rule that the anime has been following throughout the throughout the other episodes it's because typically in the other captain sabasa episodes when something like 20 minutes or even a half the animators they, and the director and the writing staff, they usually commit to that being the time used. And in this instance, you had like, you had to mention that there was only going to be five minutes used towards its final play. And I kind of like how the writing staff, for once, decided that maybe it's not a good idea to follow that every single time. Because literally, it was going into like six minutes and Sabasa score the goal and I'm thinking wait that, that was literally six minutes they could have ended the match there and that would have been a fine ending but then I like how the writing staff were like no let's just extend these five minutes into like 20 minutes because they managed to put in a lot of character development for people like Hyuga where he finally learned to yeah so football isn't playing alone so he should pass to other people we get to see more of that metamorphosis of his character. We got to see how really, really gutsy Tsubasa is when he really wants something. Because in some of the other matches, we've kind of seen that side of Tsubasa. But this is the first time we've seen him so desperate to get the win. He finally gets a little bit of that Hyuga within him. Because after seeing the injuries that Misaki received in Wakabashi, and he steps and mans the fuck up. And he takes the ball away from Hugo, like literally out beats him in that duel of strength like a boss, and he puts Hugo on the floor like his on the, on the floor where he belongs because uh, because that's where Subasa deserves to be on top. I was like, yes, motherfuckers. And that was a great sequence of character development for Subasa right there when he finally makes the goal. The second time. It was just so fucking filthy and beautiful. And simultaneously, this episode did a good job, at least from a new Sabas, a fan like me, and did a good job of making it seem like anyone could have won the match. Because there were, like, when there were instances of, like, Wakabayashi feeling pain as he lands and all that kind of stuff, in all those sequences, it kind of really did feel like Mail was gonna take the win and I was worried and it got me racing and I love that about this show it still has an area of unpredictability when it comes to the way matches end off and I gotta appreciate that a lot and then other things that I really liked about this episode is it really brings Hugo's character development full circle because I like the contrast in this episode towards when Hugo was first introduced because when he was first introduced he didn't really want to shake hands with anyone at all or respect any other player. And I like how this episode, it shows you how far along he's come because now he congratulates Subasa while still having that kind of playfulness where he tells Akabashi that next time I'm, we play, I'm going to be, I'm going to score against you. But he says it in kind of like a smiling manner, not in like a, 
your way beneath you, Madam, but in the whole playful manner. And I like that. If there was any character in this arc that received the most growth, it was Hyuga. So that was pretty fucking cool. And then it was kind of cool to see Masaki get his moments too on the defensive side of the floor. So that was also nice to see too. So they didn't really neglect the other Nakasuki members too much. Yeah, Ishizaki had his moments here and there too in these last few episodes. And I'd say overall, really this arc of Captain Sabasa has been amazing. And this whole match has been like amazing. And taking all this into consideration, I'm going to rate this episode an 11 out of 10 because it blew away all my expectations and then some. And then the music... You know, there was new track. There was no new tracks used. It was still greatly used. So, anyways, guys, you know my thoughts on the episode. Comment down your thoughts on the episode below in the comment section. Rate the video. Subscribe if you want to see more videos. Or you can check out my Captain Sabasa episode 27 live reaction if you haven't seen it yet on the channel. Oh, in case you're wondering, this is just the this is just footage of my live reaction on this mirror. I just have it here. Because why not? <laughs> Alright guys, have a great and safe day. Bye bye.